Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Bazilla Effects Trading. Uh, my name is Junior, and this is Bazilla Effects, where we discuss about forex trading, we simplify strategies, and everything for you guys. So, without further ado, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and we get started, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Bazilla Effects Trading. Uh, guys, in this episode, I want to show you another simple strategy on how we can be able to grow smaller accounts. So, guys, the reason why I'm, I'm now making videos about smaller accounts, I, I realize that uh, most of the new traders into the forex market they come into uh, this thing with smaller accounts, like fifty dollars, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. All those are smaller accounts. So, I'm going to be uh, posting multiple videos on how to grow smaller accounts. So, with this episode right here, it's about growing a smaller account. So, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Let's get started, guys. Ah, so guys, uh, this is as you can see now. This is my current chart. So in this uh, episode, I'm going to be showing you how to, we can use uh, how we can effectively use the Fibonacci. The Fibonacci. It's called Fibonacci. So uh, basically, everyone has the way they can measure their Fibonacci and apply it to the chart. But now I want to show you how we can apply a Fibonacci on a certain uh, market like this. So that you can be able to take a trade. So whenever you see uh, a market that is in, a, in an impulse move, then it's trying to retrace like this. I see these red candles that are falling. These are something like a, a small retracement. So we know a retracement is coming in. So the only way we can know where when this retracement will end is by using a Fibonacci gaze. So what we want to do uh, is uh, first identify. Okay, this is a uh, this is a reversal. So we see this is a new trend. Market is going up, so we want to know okay if it's going up. When is the retracement coming in? So that's that's when we apply the Fibonacci. So this current market, this is how it has to do. This is supposed to do like this. Uh -huh. So this is what we call a retracement. This is also a retracement, and also right here, this is a retracement. So what we want to do is identify when uh, after this, then this. When will this happen? Then again, we take a trade. Then when will this happen again? So this is what we want to identify guys so this is our current market so a simple way to uh, put the fibonacci on your on your uh, chart is just by coming here then uh you choose your fibonacci retracement then what we want to do whenever we are applying the fibonacci retracement on an uptrend we place it on the lowest point to the highest point but if you are applying it to the uh on a downtrend we apply it on uh from the highest point to the lowest point so this is my fibonacci right there then uh, i i take it to the future i drag it to the future like this so it is from here to the high then you drag it to the future so that you can see what you uh, really market do so what we want basically uh we want market to retrace our major levels so the major levels are on the fibonacci are 0 0.5 or you can call it 50 and 0 0.382 so let me uh, add these so that you can be able to see them. Let me add these numbers. Uh, let me add a text. Okay. So let me add a text. So 0 0.50 and 0 0.38. So these are major levels, guys. These are very major levels. These ones are. I'll even give them a. The red color so these are numbers where market will always turn and oh this is where the market will always retrace so meaning market will come up to this level or this level then go back up because we want market to shoot up back remember this is just a retracement after an impulse move this from here to here is an impulse move guys so we just want a market retrace so that's when we use the fibonacci remember this is an uptrend so when we apply a fibonacci then we wait for market to to uh, come back down here. So what you want to do after applying a Fibonacci, then we want to uh, apply uh, how much do we want to take from the market. So now we apply our goal. So we come to this session here, right? On your left hand of the uh, laptop, you choose your long positions because this is, we are going in a bull run, one market to go up. So I'll choose uh, my long position. I'll apply it at uh, this level right here this level then i'll put my attack profit at this level where market broke this zone here this one this is a major zone and market will come up here so what i want since this is a very big zone so i'm going to uh, uh, measure out this impulse move here i would take profit here 
but this is a these are very less people so i'm going to measure out this impulse move from here to here so what i will do i'll measure out this impulse move here here to there so that's 91 pips so i'm going to measure 91 pips from from uh from uh here to there so i'm going to measure out 91 pips from here to there then i want to see what how far is 91 pips from there so uh -huh, that's where my market is currently okay so then i bring my uh i'll bring this put it up here then uh Reduce and drag it up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll put my stop loss around the uh, around here. Around there. Drag this down there. I want to take my entry after. Ah, uh, there. Then I'll put my entry just around here. Then. Uh, Take profit is just 91 pips. That's what we want to measure. Let's do 97 pips, guys. Then uh, drag this to the future like that. So we want market to come to this level here and go back up. So guys, after you do this, you let the market play out and then see. You wait. So this is uh, you making your analysis. Then when you feel your analysis will go the right direction, you can take trade and then plus your take profit. So this is what happens, guys. As you can see guys as you can see market goes up you see market goes up to my direction and it hit take profit so meaning market has gone even beyond up to a hundred pips guys so this is really much money this is by using the fibonacci all we want is identify when will the retracement end so the type of retracement guys i was meaning this is not the retracement let me first drag this out let me first remove my fibonacci so that you can see what is really a retracement let me also remove this. So let's apply some drawings. So this is what I was meaning. Guys. This is the this is a retracement. We always want to catch with the Fibonacci. This. So guys, this is just by using a Fibonacci. So meaning, if I was to trade on a big account, I would have made money with ninety one pips. Still with a small account. Remember, we are going small accounts. So meaning if it was a small account of $20 with 91 pips, this is like $10 banked that day. So meaning if you're always applying this uh, Fibonacci on uh, uptrends and downtrends, finding uh, retracements, this would make you 10 to uh, uh, 10 to $20 per day on a smaller account, depending on your account size, guys. So this is really uh, a good strategy anyone can use. Excuse me. This is like a... So in Venezuela, this is like a concept most traders use, guys. It's a concept. It's a very, very good concept, guys. So make sure to use, uh, apply this. This is very easy for anyone to use. This is for beginner traders, guys. So, ah, uh, guys, if you enjoy that video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share and subscribe, guys. I'll see you in my next video as I'm showing you how really Forex is simple to trade, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.